Welcome to this new tutorial offered to you by LearnElectronics.org. In this tutorial you will learn how to simulate a simple binary ASK transceiver using system view. Open a blank project and call it Demo ASK. Then create folders to store the analyses and the graphs and call your schematic binary ASK. Look for the random bit generator in the algorithm design library. Then drag and drop the model in the schematic sheet. Look for the multiplier. Then drag and drop it in the schematic. Connect the random bit generator with the multiplier input. Observe that the double input arrow of the multiplier indicates that this is a multi-input model symbol. Look for the sine wave generator and drag and drop the model in this schematic. Rotate the sine wave generator symbol using the rotate button. Connect the sine wave generator with the multiplier input. Make sure that the connection with the multiplier is correct by checking that the input net numbers are different. Look for the noise density model and drag and drop it in the schematic. Connect the multiplier output with the noise density model input. The input bit stream modulates the amplitude of the carrier generated by the sine wave generator. Drag and drop another multiplier in this schematic. This multiplier is used to demodulate the input signal. Connect the noise density model output with the multiplier. Drag and drop another sine wave generator in this schematic. Rotate the sine wave generator using the rotate button. Connect the sine wave generator with the multiplier input. Look for the integrator model and drag and drop it in the schematic. Connect the multiplier output with the integrator. Look for the gain model in the algorithm design library. Then drag and drop the symbol in the schematic.
Connect the integrator with the gain model. Look for the Schmidt trigger model and drag and drop it in this schematic. Connect the Schmidt trigger with the gain model output. Look for the data sync model in the algorithm design library, and then drag and drop it in the schematic. Connect the data sync with the Schmidt trigger output. The noise density model is used to simulate the channel noise and perform a BER analysis. However, in this tutorial we are going to simulate the system in ideal conditions without channel noise. For this reason we are going to short circuit the noise density model using the disable to short button. Drag and drop another data sync model in this schematic. Connect the modulator output with the data sync model. Drag and drop another data sync model in this schematic. Then connect the random bit generator output with the data sync model. Click on the random bit generator model to edit its properties. Enable the advanced parameters. Then select the option timed from sample rate. Set the bit rate of the data stream to a variable called bit rate. This variable must be defined afterwards in the system equations. Finally, click OK to close the properties window. Click on the data sync connected to the random bit generator to edit its properties. Change the designator name to bits in. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the upconversion sine wave generator on the transmitter side to edit its properties. Set the peak amplitude to 5 volts and the frequency to 20 kHz. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the down conversion sine wave generator on the receiver to edit its properties. Set the peak value to 5 volts and the frequency to 20 kHz. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click the integrator model to edit its properties. Set the model to integrate over time. Set the integration time to bit time. Bit time is a system variable that must be defined later on. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the amplifier model to edit its properties. Set the gain of the amplifier to one split bit time. 
Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the Schmidt trigger model to edit its properties. Set the lower input trigger value to 6 volts and the higher input trigger value to 6.5 volts. Set the lower output trigger value to 0 volts and the higher output trigger value to 1 volts. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the data sync model connected to the output of the modulator to edit its properties. Change the designator to TX bits. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the data sync model at the output of the demodulator to edit its properties. Change the designator to bits out. Then click OK to close the properties window. Add a new data flow analysis to the workspace tree. Give a name to the analysis and to the data set. Set the source and sync parameters for data collection. Click the Options tab. Tick Data Persistence and Repeatable Random Sequences. Click Accept to close the Data Flow Analysis window. Click on the Equation symbol in the Workspace tree to open the Equation Editor. Define the EB over N0 ratio and set it to 6 dBm. The interrogation mark denotes that this is a sweepable variable whose value can be changed using a sweep analysis. This feature will be used to perform a BER analysis. Set the system bit rate to 1 kilobit per second, and the bit time to 1 millisecond. Set the normalization resistance to 1 ohm. Set the peak voltage of the data waveform to 5 volts. Then write the equation to compute the data waveform RMS value. Write the equation to compute the normalized energy per bit. Then convert the energy per bit in dBm. Finally, compute the noise power spectral density. Click the Go button to update the system variables. Add a new graph to the workspace. Select Spectrum as the type of series. Take the TX bits data set. Then click OK to close the Graph Series Wizard window. In the Graph Properties window, assign a name and a title to the graph. Then click OK to close the Graph Properties window. The plot displays the power spectrum of the transmitted signal. Click on the Graph area to open the menu. Then select Graph Properties to open the Graph Properties window. Select the X-axis tab, then uncheck the Auto Scale checkbox and modify the minimum and maximum values.
Click OK to close the graph properties window. Observe how the graph scale have changed. Then, click once again on the graph area to open the graph properties window. Click the Y axis tab, then uncheck the auto scale checkbox and change the minimum and maximum values for the Y axis. Finally, click OK to close the graph properties window. Click on the toggle vertex symbols button to display a dot for each sample of the plot. Add a new graph to the workspace. Select general as a type of series. Select the binary ASK data data analysis. Take the bits in data set. Finally, Click OK to close the graph series wizard window. Add a plus 2 offset to the bits and data set. Click the Add button to add another data set to the graph. Take the bits out data set. Finally, click OK to close the graph series wizard window. Click OK to close the graph properties window. The plot displays the input and output bit streams. Observe that there are no bit errors since there is no channel noise that may disturb the detection operation. Click on the graph area to open the graph properties window. Give the graph a name and a title. Finally, click OK to close the graph properties window. Thank you for watching. Bookmark www.learnelectronics.org in your browser and check the website periodically for new free material. Don't forget to follow Learn Electronics and the social networks. Please support Learn Electronics with a donation, a Facebook like, a plus one on Google Plus, or a tweet to your friend.